You know, it's 2023, and I still think that Phantom Rage is one of the best sets released in the past few years. I've talked about it a few times before on this series, so I don't feel like I have to sing its praises too much here, but rest assured it's a pretty darn good set with plenty of staples and archetypal support to boot. One of those archetypes that got support is an archetype that longtime Noah Jenkers will know is one of my all-time favorites to play, RAID RAPTORS! <laughs> That's right, baby! We're gonna be XC summoning Raid Raptors all day on today's episode of VTuber vs. Viewer. Now, Raid Raptors are one of the many really cool combo-centric archetypes that were released during Arc 5, used primarily by the anime character Shun Kurosaki. It's focused on swarming the field with dark attribute monsters, particularly winged beasts, and setting up powerful rank-up plays that make a nearly impenetrable field or at least it would. Raid Raptors by themselves sadly can't do everything on their own and rely heavily on generating resources on the field, which can lead them to go a little bit, um, minus. This is where Phantom Knights come in. Phantom Knights and Raid Raptors are two archetypes that have perfect synergy with each other. Phantom Knights and Raid Raptors are two archetypes that have perfect synergy with each other, which makes sense considering the two who use them in the anime, Shun and Yuto, are XC's besties. Phantom Knights help generate a plentiful amount of resources for Raid Raptor's nest, and that helps set up rank up plays on your opponent's turn. I could keep talking about what they can do, but why don't I just show it instead? Light up the birdhouse in your soul, because it's time for VTuber vs Viewer. You already know what's going on based on the intro, that is right, Raid Raptors are back in big, big, big fashion here. We love the Raid Raptors, we love the XC summoning, and we love overlaying XC's dimension, we're going forth today, and this is the deck profile we're rocking with today. Uh, Raid Raptors are a really, really interesting uh, archetype, I think, by their own, because solo, dolo, they really don't do a lot. But like I said in the intro, the Phantom Knights, in particular these three guys, really, really help out with uh, what their game plan is. Raid Raptors want to get everything on the field as soon as possible. Phantom Knights can help recur these resources uh, with everything that they have in the grave uh, as much as possible. It's a great time to be sure when you are one of these two archetypes. Maybe you're Yuto, maybe you're Shun Kurosaki. Maybe you're both of them. I don't know how that would work, but regardless of how it would work, you are going to be XC summoning dark monsters, and that's what we're playing to do here. So we got three Tribute Lanius, three Vanishing Lanius, three Strangle Lanius, three Raider's Wing, three Heal Eagle. Heal Eagle, that might be a little bit controversial, but I think having an extra Wing Beast Dark on body, uh, a body on board, rather, excuse me, is always going to be a good thing. So we are running three of him. Everything else here, they're all just incredible starters on their own right. Uh, you're pretty much always going to be starting with a Raid Raptor in hand, as well as Vanishing. So you're going to have Vanishing Effect, and Special Summon another Raid Raptor from the hand. And from there, you're off to the races. Everything you could want and more. One Mimicry Lanius, because you only want it in the grave. Usually sending it off of Strangle Lanius Effect, or excuse me, Tribute Lanius Effect. Uh, and Singing Lanius, because Singing Lanius, you're only really summoning uh, once you add it to hand from Force Strix Effect. Having that extra level 4 body is absolutely awesome and imperative for your full combo. As far as the Phantom Knights are going, we're running two Ancient Cloak, two Silent Boots, two Torn Scales. Torn Scales is a good normal summon in its own right, and aside from that, having it in the grave is okay for most of the time, but if you're sending something to the grave, it's usually going to be Ancient Cloak or Silent Boots. Silent Boots is going to, of course, grab a, um, a, a one of the traps. Uh, if we don't already have Shade Brigandine, it's probably going to grab that, and Ancient Cloak is usually going to grab is Silent Boots. Very recursive in that. Very, very recursive in what it aims to do, which is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Hand traps, consistency boosters, we have the three allure of darkness, because why would we not want to draw two? We're almost always going to have a dark in our hand, so having allure on hand is really, really good. And Ash, Blossom, and Joyous Spring is going to be the only hand trap, aside from maybe Call By, that we're running here. Though that's really, it depends on if you consider Call By a hand trap. It's really not, but kind of is. Anyway, Ash, Blossom is only the really actual hand trap we're running here. 
and in three of uh, here as well for the extra little bit of consistency. I was considering cross out, but I want to keep this as budget as possible. And cross out is still a little bit expensive, so we're going to keep this on uh, as much uh, as 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 affordable as possible. Then for the rank ups, we have rank up Magic Phantom Knights Force, uh, Random Knights Phantom Knight rank up Magic rank up Phantom Knight. You love it. You love to see it. This is going to be the number one way you are going into Ultimate Falcon on your opponent's turn. You want to get. Four Strix on your board, uh, as many Dark Monsters in your grave as possible. Then Phantom Knight, Rank Up Magic, Phantom Knight, Rank Up Magic, Ranch, rank, up, rank Up Phantom, Phantom Force. Activate, banish six Darks from the grave, get Ultimate Falcon. Your opponent's not doing a damn thing to you because Ultimate Falcon is the boy. That is one of the strongest you are going to get on the field and is an incredible boss monster for this deck. And on your opponent's turn, even better. We are running one launch. Launch is still a good card. Will we be going into it as much as other ones? Maybe not, but launch is still very powerful in its own right and can set up some really good plays with Bardish on your opponent's turn as well. Then, of course, running the one Soul Shave for us in case we need it. We're not going to be using it as much, but it is regardless still a very, very good card to go into. Uh, things like Cyber Dragon Infinity and things of that nature for an Omni negate or what have you we are actually running one raid raptor nest because you can still grab it off of mimicry lanius uh, adding any raid raptor card is really really good in that respect and you want to be able to get um, everything on your field as soon as possible as i've mentioned a few times already they're running a foolish burial another good consistency booster it's a great way to get either raider's wing or mimicry lanius or maybe any phantom knight in the grave as soon as possible uh then for the traps we're doing the double shade brigandine the double fog blade because fog blades insane and the one phantom knight's claw any counter trap is a good trap, and that's why I do uh, val I do feel a little bit more valid running Claw uh, more than anything else. Counter traps are always going to be good, and I think that this is a very underrated one. I it's incredible. It really is incredible. Then for the extra deck, we are actually running a few Link Monsters here, a few more than usual. One Wise Strix, one Rusty Bardish. These are your playmakers here. And then for just a little bit, in case we need it, we are running a Unicorn and IP. I don't see us going into that that much, but just to get bodies off the board and the plays on the next turn, some kind of interruption, it's good to have. Uh, the main XCs we'll be going into here are Force Strix and Ultimate Falcon. Force Strix is going to be the one we get on the field, and we activate the effect of usually uh, rank up, rank up, force, force, magic, magic, phantom, phantom. Uh, then we get ultimate falcon on the field as soon as possible. But of course, there's plenty of other Xyz monsters we have here in the extra deck as well. We are running the phantom knights of break sword because we do have a few phantom knights in here and they are level three. And aside from that, we also have a level three in heal eagle that we can go into here. And phantom knights lets this, uh, of course, the effect of break sword lets you get uh, phantom knights back on the field, increase their level by one, and that lets you go into your rank four toolbox here. Uh, we are running one raider's knight because raider's knight is still an incredible Xyz card another fantastic extra deck card introduced in phantom rage just a really really good consistency booster and the fact that it's treated as both both a phantom knight and raid raptor by name excellent 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 Mwah. love to see it then we have dark rebellion dark rebellion is an incredible card not much really needs to be said about it uh not just for lowering an opponent's attack and absorbing it but because it goes into these guys over here arc rebellion and dark requiem the omni negate and arc rebellion just the goat the goat Everybody loves Arc Rebellion. I love Arc Rebellion. If you don't love Arc Rebellion, you're crazy. This guy just goes on the field and you win. You love to see it. Revolution Falcon's also here. We're not going to be going into it as much as pop, going into it that much. Uh, Arsenal Falcon, another one that can special a wing monster from deck. That's fine on its own. Arsenal and Revolution are ones we're not going to be going into a lot, but they're good options to keep on the side if we need to go into them at any juncture because game plans can often change. Cyber Dragon Infinity is here because it is a target for rank up magic soul shave force. If we have not locked ourselves in the darks based on Strangolanius' effect. So that's very, very important to keep in mind there. If you strangle Lanius, you cannot go into Cyber Dragon Infinity on the same turn. So do not waste your life points on a Soul Shape Force if you have already activated Strangolanius that turn. Aside from that, Ultimate Falcon is the ultimate boss of this deck, and we're going to be ending on most of the time. It's going to be a Rusty Bardish pointing to an Ultimate Falcon, which means not only do you get Ultimate Falcon on the field, Rusty Bardish gets a free pop because a Dark Xyz was summoned to a zone that it points to, and this is all on your opponent's turn. The interruptions and interactions and negates that this deck can set up are absolutely insane, and we're going to be going into a big style in just a second. Let's get right into the duels. Okay, listen, we got a big queue ahead of us. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Come on, come on, come on, wrap it up. Dog on the extra deck be doing what it do? You're not wrong, to be honest. What is the dog doing? Only one can know. Yeah, the new Vernola support is really, really cool. I do agree. I think it's really awesome. 
All right, I, that was a game. All right, now, now that is gonna fuck up the deck order. Mahat, I don't think we'll be on top of the deck anymore, unfortunately. But we're gonna go ahead and activate Foolish Burial here. Start our combo off, right. Uh, ash off the bat. We're gonna shotgun the Ash on the Foolish. Uh, understandable. We're gonna Normal Summon Tribute Lanius and uh, activate Effect to send a Raid Raptor. Eternal Soul. We're gonna Special Summon the Dark Magician that we have from the Grave, I believe. No, the Hand, either, actually. And there it is. Uh, we're going to be sending Mimicry Lanius. Dark Magical, we're going to banish the Tribute Lanius. And that is fine. Doing good? That's awesome to hear. Very, very glad to hear it. Uh, by the way, Lucina, if you are interested in playing Raid Raptors, we do still have the queue open right now. Strangle Lanius. Nest here. And we lose. <laughs> <laughs> then we don't have anything else. See, this is why the thing. This is why you gotta have the Phantom Knights on, on, on bats sometimes. And that is Big Death from Celine, Queen of the Mass Magicians. That is gonna be game two there with a congrats uh, to Replica Rabbit there. Uh, let's see. Does anything happen if these are destroyed? I don't believe so. We'll get rid of you. Oh, God. That does proc something. Damn it. It's sent to the grave. I didn't... Ah. Darn it all to heck. Da -na 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 -na. It wouldn't matter. I know I have my Fog Blade, but it doesn't matter because they have uh, Underworld Goddess on the field. So that going up is just going to negate it. It doesn't matter. I was thinking about God, uh, Divine Zero King, being added to Duel Links when they do. That'd be really interesting. I don't know if they would be willing to do that because of how powerful DDD has already proven itself to be. But that'd be really interesting to see. Uh, no rematch. Please, God. Uh, GG, Zero. I need to adjust this deck. The problem is Raid Raptors is just so normal summon reliant. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, it's not a problem most of the time, but some of the time it is a problem. Okay, Tribute Lanius. I am, in fact, facing the Go Go Power Ranger deck. It's true. Please, God, can I do something? <laughs> I feel like I haven't done anything all day, dude. Raid Raptors just can do so little. Ah! It's a sad state of affairs. Uh, well, I'm doing about as well as you can see right now. I'm trying to get over Great Magnus, and I'm I, I'm basically at the whim of Ice Savon here. New Control of Dark. Two level fours. How do I get over this shit? Oh my god. Beat over it? Good plan. Oh god! <laughs> okay. Oh god, it doesn't target! It doesn't target, Chad! It doesn't target! Uh, no, it doesn't. I can ROM all I want. It doesn't target. It doesn't matter. Skill problem? It really is, to be honest. All right, fuck it. We're going to just do it. We're going to have to do it. We have nothing else to do here but to do it. Huh? No! I am not winning. In fact, I'm doing the quite exact opposite of winning. Oh, everything's going... Everything right is wrong again! And now I die! Uh, decent hand, actually. Or maybe it's not. No, it is, actually. Ancient Cloak. Add the Silent Boots. As we all do. Special the Silent Boots. Strangle Miclanius. He's here. Everyone loves him. I guess I can make Bardiche from here. Banish to add Brigandine. Can you please update the queue? Wow, this is a pretty bad field. I'm not going to lie. Well, doesn't work. Spiral fusion. Yo, Gaia? Oh my god, we're going Gaia mode. I have not gotten that mate. I'm thinking about it, though. Honestly, dude, for mates in Master Duel, how have they not made a mate for the live twins yet? Are, they're, they're too afraid. That's what it is. They're too afraid. It can't end this way. Chat, it might end this way. I 
I cannot, no, we cannot have this. We cannot have Raid Raptors losing literally every single duel today. It can't happen like this. It just can't, damn it. If I have Dino DNA, it helps. Oh, man. Oh, God. Chat, everything right is wrong again. I need you guys to realize this. Shun's had way too hard of a life. He needs something. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. It's over. I don't know, though. I'm pretty happy with my Clyde Fort Monolith theme, uh, uh, mate, to be honest. I like that guy. He's cool. Dragonic Spiral Shaver? Ah! Piercing damage jump scare. Please don't die. Please do not get ashed. Please fucking God. Oh my God. It's never been worse than it is right now, chat. It's never been worse than it is right now. This has been the... Okay, now this is just win more. Is it XCs only? Is what XCs only? This deck? Yeah, my, my deck... <laughs> it really does, friend. It really does. I simply... This deck, man, I need to... I'm gonna have to go back in the workshop on this one. This has been the losingest of all decks. Ah, you could call me the biggest loser the way I be dropping. 2k to the face. Toku Sentai. Toku Sentai. Just like Noah. Yeah, I'm literally Raccoon. He's... Oh, oh wow. This character is literally me. Favorite Team 4 Star side character? Side character? I don't know. Probably Dende. I love Dende. Dende's the goat. Krillin's girlfriend. Oh, Marin? Yeah, Marin's sick. Uh, yeah, we'll hit the access code, I think. Yeah. Just win one. I'm trying, man. I'm trying my damnedest over here. I'm fighting for my life out here, alright? I'm fighting for my goddamn life. I really am, bro. Fan of how they handle Nail Piccolo and Kami. I love their Kami. Yeah, the Nail Piccolo Kami situation in Team 4 Star is so good. I really, really do like it a lot. I feel like everybody, ha every single person you meet that you talk to about Team 4 Star has a, has a Dragon Ball Z abridged impression. Every single one person you talk to, no matter who it is, they all have a, a, a impression from someone in that series. Every single person. You know what I mean? You talk to somebody about it, they will immediately do one of the voices. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Yeah, exactly. And this, hey, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. I'm about to die. Every party has a pooper. That's why we invited you. Party pooper. Party pooper. Synchro Trap Tricks is another option. This is true. Well, I'm about to die. Um, all right. Let's hope that we don't die here. Oh my god, no. No, God, no, please. Ah, oh, Christ. I'm never getting this normal summon off. I'm never getting this normal summon off. I am never, ever gonna get a normal summon off. Vanishing Lanius is so cringe. It feels like it, man. He's really not... He's really struggling out here. Vanishing Lanius is struggling out here. I am never going to have a successful normal summon. Their second turn during your first one? Oh, like Flunder and stuff? Yeah, I, that's also... That is really annoying. That could be really annoying. I don't mind it if it's, like, fun. Like, if you could interact with it as well, then it's, like, whatever. Like, you could interact with Tear, but, like, stuff like Flunder, you can barely interact with. Trap Tricks? I, I don't think Trap Tricks does it as much. I don't think Trap Tricks has a your turn, our turn as much as other decks do. Flunder is the biggest one. Like, Artifacts. Yeah, kind of like Artifacts, yeah. Arbax is another one. Interesting example, but yes. Oh my god. Runic? Yeah, sure, Runic. Chat, that is an army of chum jinx right now, staring me down. 
A Dolce Artifact? Oh, interesting. Overextending? No. I don't... Overextending? No! This is not overextending. This is fine. I... I... I mean, what am I gonna do? Interrupt? With what? I got a set card! That's all I got! We are going to beat you to death, it seems as though they're saying. Yeah, what am I gonna do? A witty retort? Okay, yeah, sure. Erm, um, what the scallop? <laughs> okay. Normal summon. Okay, good start. Nest. Stranglelanius. You know what Raid Raptors need? Raid Raptors need, an, need a hand trap. We're seeing it today, damn it. We actually get to play a little bit here. Play more going second? Well, I could. Fair enough. We're still going to detach here, though. That is an annoying imperm, but it's dealable. We can deal with that. Okay, never mind. It's over. Oh god, he's here! Chat, run! No. No. Okay, thank god. Wait, what? No. Wait, is just... No, no, no. No! Ah! I am, uh, resigned to my fate at this point, I'm not gonna lie. No, not Mass Effect. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh god, it's fucking Darklaw. Oh my god, this simply can't be. This simply cannot be. But... I... Attain... Perfection! The law is pretty dark right now. Galaxy Force on Meteor, be perfect name for Nibbin, that archetype. That'd be a sick name. The Meteor? Oh, that, that works for the space archetype, too. Fuck, I forgot about this fucking shit. It gets banished instead. I'm an idiot. Cause I, for I literally forgot. I literally forgot, chat. Oh! Okay, we gotta get something here. We gotta get something. We need something here. Can I, can I use any of this? No, I can't use... God, dude, dude, this can't be, no, 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 it can't be, no, dude, it can't, this can't be true, this can't be true, I, I, I am losing to Dark Law Pass, I am losing to Dark Law Pass, what do I do, what the hell do I do? What the hell is this card? What? Is there someone an elemental hero? Oh god, it's fucking Stratos. Never mind, Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist. Okay, no, no, no. It's only slightly worse than the Mirror J pass? Slightly. Slightly. Infernal Divisor? Oh my god. The, I, this is a, a really interesting case study. This Today's episode of V2 vs. Viewer is brought to you by making sure that your friends aren't going absolutely goddamn insane playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Make sure that you're always checking up on your friend, because you never know when their normal summon is getting interrupted, preventing them from actually playing the fucking game. It could happen more than you think. Oh my god, it's Polly. You're gonna make Guardian Chimera. Oh shit, you bell and- Oh, Neo's Kluger! Chat, press 1 to Klug- Her, Kluger. Yeah, alright, good one, Noah. Kluger, I hardly knew her. This song fits? Yeah, this is Dark Law's theme. Dark Trafalgar Law. Oh god, I'm gonna die hard. Oh Christ. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. Oh! No! No! 
no, 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 this can't be, I think it can't be like this, my god, oh, This is probably the worst day of my life. I mean this with no exaggeration. Oh god, no, dude, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't. <laughs> Jay gifting five tier one subs on account of my whining like a baby. Thank you very much, Jay. I greatly appreciate your kindness. <laughs> oh, Christ. Big gifties there. Make sure you give a shout out to, to Jay in the chat. Yeah, I'm crying for subs right now, it's true. I'm literally crying for subs. And not incredibly sad and depressing. Hey, I wish too. I really wish that too. Oh, Christ. Get out of here. You finally popped off on Noah. You did. You did indeed. Let people tag team in your games? No. What? Why? Overlay. Force Strix. I was so happy today going into this duel. The deck profile, I was so happy. I was so excited to show off this deck. I really was. I was so excited. Oh, this deck can do so much, guys. It's really cool. It's a really good deck, guys. There's so much it can do. So many interruptions you can set up. Wow, it does everything. 2v1, though? What are you saying to me? Okay, wait. We can actually do something here. Okay, hold on. We're going to summon. Can we actually do something here? Wait. No way. Wait, are we actually getting to play? No, 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 no. This can't be. I No, no, no. I never get to play. Well, what is happening? What is happening right now? I, I I don't understand. I don't understand. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. No. There's no way. There's no way. What? Wait, wait, hold on. Am I? The, the, it can't be. There's no way. There, there's no way. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I set up the field. Oh my god. I set up the field. Oh my god. 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 It's happening. Oh my god. It's happening. Okay. IP. Uh, imperm, that, that, sure, that's fine. Double imperm. Ogre! Oh god, we're playing against Cash Tira. Oh. No, it can't be. The light at the end of the tunnel. It may very, oh no. We gotta do it now. We, it must be done. It's time. Big bird, funny bird, bird, big bird, chant bird, bird, funny, absolute, abs, abs, apple, uh, or ultimate, falcon, good, falcon, good, falcon. That's the chant, yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, wait, Barty's, Barty's got the pop, Barty's got the pop. Big, big, apple, bird, falcon, good, bird, falcon. That's the chant, listen, it, 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 this is a lot of words, okay, words are hard. 
Oh god, okay, we got the pop. We got the pop of a party. Can we win? Can we win? Can we actually do it? It's happening! 18, 43. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Um, hold on. Eight, uh, 26. 26. Uh, 50, 46, 51. 71, 72. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Uh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. <gasps> Wait! No, it is over! No, it is over! It is over! It is over! G Ultimate Falcon! Oh, no! Fuck! No, nobody else can attack this turn. I forgot. Fuck! I fucking forgot they can't attack this turn. Shit! No, they can! They're high! They can! Because of the field! God! Good, good, good! Good, good, good! No, no, no! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fuck, Blade! Okay, that's fine! You're not who I wanted, but that's okay! In phase! Ultimate Falcon! No, its effect didn't go! Why didn't its effect go? I wanted to burn for a thousand! Why didn't I burn for a thousand? Why didn't I burn for a thousand? No, 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 no! No! Wait, wait, wait! Why didn't I burn for a thousand? No, I know it could have attacked, but I thought I could burn! No! No, I don't want to go to the fight! I'm in Slip Dino with my Falcon! Right? You know what I mean? Maybe. I won a duel today. One win out of 11. Jules, and keep this part in. What would I change about this deck in this viewer sweep today? I would change a lot. For starters, I wouldn't play Raid Raptors. I would play something else. Maybe a deck that doesn't rely on its normal summon. And then maybe I wouldn't get 10 losses in a row. Then... Maybe, just maybe, I would do something else. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to VTuber vs. Viewer. I didn't read my card today and I thought I could do it. I couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it. Next week I'm going to play something I can win with. <laughs>